Hey friends, I'm Lisa with Made to Create with Lisa and today is Monday, the start of a new week and we're still a couple weeks shy of Valentine's Day so I figured we could still squeeze in a few more Valentine-y love type crafts before we move on to the full spring decor. So today we are going to make a cute little, uh, I guess you can call it a shelf sitter. I feel like we do that a lot, but little decor items to sit around your home using this little, um, it's like a faux charcuterie board from the Dollar Tree. And I found these a couple weeks ago and I grabbed a couple and now I'm realizing that I should have grabbed like 40. <laughs> I've never seen them since. And um, yeah, so now I'm bummed that I only have a couple. But so this was just from the Dollar Tree. It's just the usual, you know, cheap um, MDF type board that all of the signs from the Dollar Tree are made from. And this is what we're going to use to decorate, okay? So we're gonna be using this and we're also going to be using, yes, I know, it's the classic uh, designer series paper, the Sweet Talk prints. Um, I haven't used all the prints in our, in our crafts yet, so I figured I was still allowed to use it a couple more times. Now, I don't know if you caught our craft from uh, last week that I did a heart that was more in the natural tones and I got a lot of positive response off of that. So maybe you guys love the, the like the natural stuff that you can use your year round more than the pinks and the reds. But today we're gonna use the pinks and the reds, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in and, um, and make our cute little shelf sitter, all right? So I will point you down and clip you in here. Okay. So, like I said, we are using this. So what I already did is I opened one of these up, I clipped off the tags, got everything off, and then what I actually ended up doing was painting this. Now what I could have done is just decorated the back, but then this would have still been on the other side, and so I just decided I wanted to cover the whole thing. So what I did is I went ahead, and I know that this looks weird and messy, but what I did is I ended up painting the whole entire thing with white chalk paint, okay? So I had to do two coats in order to cover all of the words. And then what I did on top of the chalk paint, and you can see all my fingerprints down here from holding it, but what I did is then I used um, just like a, a thin brown glaze, and I glazed it side to side to kind of look like wood grain. I'll hold it up here so you can see what I did, okay? And I only did it halfway down because we're actually gonna cover that, okay? So that is what I ended up doing. Um, basically, in a way, it's just kind of mimicking what this is. This just looks like faux um, wood, the paper that they have on here, but, um, but I didn't want all those words, so I just covered it up, okay? So that is our base that we are using, okay? So what I decided to do this time was we had not used, there are so many cute papers in here. As you know, I love them all, but we had not used the basic heart design yet. And so that is what I did today. So what I did is I just took my cutting board and I turned it over and I laid it directly onto the designer series paper and I traced around it and then I cut it out, okay? And that is how I got this right here. And so as you see, I'm just doing it part way up because I wanted the top part of the board to be exposed. Look how cute that's gonna be. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna adhere this on and um, it's kind of a rough edge up there, okay. First, we're gonna adhere this on, and then we can go on with decorating the rest of our piece. So I'm gonna bring in my scratch paper and my Mod Podge. And we will go ahead and get our designer series paper attached. 
And let's see about how high I need to go on here, higher than I thought. So I really didn't need to paint all of that. So you want enough so that it sticks, but you don't want too much ex excess. Otherwise, as we know, it gets all bubbly. So get it on all your edges. And again, I wanna make sure that that's adhered all the way across. Make sure it goes up high enough. Okay, let's hope that that's enough. All right, we'll get this on there. Get it slid into place. And I always like to turn it over, make sure it goes to all the edges, and it does. So now I can press this really firmly into place. Again, make sure you get all your edges nice and tight. Hey, Julie. Um, I can't see your full comment. What did I, I think it says, how did I decide to start doing things other than just cards? Um, I think because I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 24 years, <laughs> and I've made a lot of cards in my time. I actually do not like to scrapbook, so I don't scrapbook, but I've done tons of cards, and I really, really love home decor. And so I just decided, well, what can I do with my Stampin' Up! products to, you know, use them in ways that are not just cards? And here we go. Okay, so what I did is I got that all adhered, and now you know how that edge is hanging off. So I just have a sanding block, and you always sand downward, and we're just gonna get that edge just trimmed off. See, I also painted the side there so that it matched. And we're gonna sand that off just so that all the edges are nice and sanded. So Julie, I do actually offer, my classes are always cards. Sometimes I throw a home decor item in with my classes, but my, car, my classes are always cards. Um, yeah. And actually I was gonna show you my next class that I have coming up here. You can do it either in a kit to go or in person if you're local. Okay, so I'm just checking this edge here. Blow it off, make sure that you get that all sanded off. And then, there we go. Doesn't that look good? Okay, so now I have my mess and I will get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I wanted to decorate the top part here and this is what I thought would be super cute. I have the Sweet Conversation stamp set, and we have the X and O, and honestly, <laughs> I've been using the paper like crazy, but I have not been using my stamps very much, um, so I figured I better bring in my stamps. So I picked out the X and the O from this, and this is what we're gonna try to do. We are going to attempt to stamp and emboss this upper section to like make a background, okay? So hopefully it will be fabulous and it will turn out. <laughs> so I'm bringing over my, my embossing stuff here. All right, unfortunately, we do not sell the embossing buddy anymore, which is very sad. But first I'm gonna rub my surface and then I'm pulling out my Versamark pad. So when you emboss, <laughs> yes, you can see how grungy it is. When you emboss, you need to use the Versamark pad because it is pigment ink, which is very gooey. Okay, so see how I can do that, and then I can do a row underneath it, and it's gonna be perfect, I think. So I better put this straight, and I'm going to stamp. And this is a clear ink, so you can't super see it very well. Okay, so that's enough for now. Let's try that. I'm gonna bring it over here and dump my powder on here. Oh, 
Okay, look how adorable that is. Do you love it like I do? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be fantastic. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I don't want like XO in the same line. So I'm going to, I'm going to line it up opposite so that it's OX. I didn't bring my cleaning pad over here. So they're sticking to my fingers. Okay, picking those up. Okay, so that way it won't be totally lined up. What do you think? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. You know how like you envision something and you hope that it's gonna be cute? <laughs> so when it does turn out cute, then it's extra amazing. Look at that. I love it. So let's get this embossed. I'm gonna put this off to the side so that I don't blow it away. And, whoops, I need my tray. Actually, no, I don't need my tray. I can just hold it. Okay. So, sorry for the noise, but I know it's not too bad. Sorry, I'm just switching hands here. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. As it embosses, it turns a much brighter white. And my gun's starting to heat up, so now it's finally starting to turn. So can you see the difference there? It's just barely starting. The hotter the gun gets, the faster the embossing goes. Now, since there's paint on here, it's not super, super solid because of course I have the paint, you know, the bumpiness of the paint underneath it, but that doesn't bother me at all. I think it's cute. I think on that XO that I'm doing right now, I think I slid the stamp a little bit because of the paint, I think it slid. That's why it's not quite as sharp, but that's okay. No one would notice like when you're sitting it out It'll be our little secret. Okay, so what do you think? Isn't that cute? I think it turned out really cute. Okay, so now what I have is, these are from Hobby Lobby. And of course, you never paid this price. You always wait until they're, uh, they're either 40 or 50% off right now. I don't know which one. So we're using the large heart. I know that the Dollar Tree always has um, shapes like this too, but actually I got these last year. And this is another print of the paper from the same pack, okay? And I am using this one so that it will be layered on there like that, okay? So let's get that adhered. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna use, well, no, we'll use the Mod Podge. I was gonna say, I think I could just use the liquid glue, which I know I could, but I'll just go ahead with my Mod Podge since I have it out. So let's get it all coated. So I hope you guys had a good weekend. My son came home from college for the weekend to do some, he's super into cars and he had some like a car meet stuff going on and uh, I love having him home. It was very nice to have him here. I definitely cook more when he's home too. <laughs> he is a big eater. Okay, we're done with that. So let me put my Mod Podge back aside. Okay, so now we're gonna get this guy covered. And like always, let's turn it over. Make sure you slide it into place so that no edges are showing. And then give it a nice press all the way around. So just like this one, I don't know if I said this out loud or not, but I just traced the wood heart onto the designer series paper and cut it out, okay? And then just like with the cutting board, I have my, 
my little sanding block and we'll just sand off the edges real quick just so that it gives a nice finished edge. And this little sanding block, I've had some people ask me, um, is from Walmart. I love it because it's easy to hang on to and it's firm. Um, some of those sanding blocks are really squishy and I just find that this one works faster. I don't know, I like it better. All right, so if you go into like the actual paint section, not the craft section, it's like in the actual paint section of Walmart. That's where this is. Okay, I think that's good. Blow that off. Okay, now let me wipe off. There we go. Okay, so now we have this. And we are gonna just layer this on. And I feel like I don't like this right here. So what I did bring over, just because I wasn't sure exactly what we would do, is I brought over a selection of ribbons and it's our usual selection, you know. And maybe this would be the cutest. Let's see what this looks like. What do you guys think? Like if we just do like a line of that, I think that that helps, don't you? Okay. So what I think I'm going to do is use my hot glue gun and just do, come on, get it going. Just do a really thin bead of glue all the way across, whoops. And then get this put down there before it dries and hold it there for a second. Okay, I think that totally adds, I really like it. Okay. Hey Sue, how are you? Okay. Okay, look at that. I really like it. Okay, so now we're going to layer this on top, all right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dress up our um, heart a little bit. Um, I guess I could do it now. Okay, so look at this. I was looking through my stuff to see what I could layer on here that would be cute, and look at what I came up with. The layering hugs dies, oh my goodness. Why would you not want to put hugs on a Valentine's heart? Like I just thought, oh my goodness, this is perfect. So I die cut out the word hugs with our real red cardstock. Okay, and we are going to put this on here at an angle. So, well, maybe I'll do it straight across actually. Hold on, let's see what looks best. Okay, if I do it straight on, yeah, I think I'll do it straight on and then we'll put this at a tilt, okay? So I know I am classic for not ever remembering or doing that adhesive stuff on my dies. I just, I never remember. I'm always just moving forward. And so then I always just end up using my liquid glue to glue down these tiny little letters. <laughs> but it works, what can I say? I use my liquid glue for absolutely everything. It's my BFF. Uh-oh, now I have to make sure I didn't turn my S over. There we go. Okay. So now we have our word hugs, which I'm very proud of thinking of doing that word. Okay, isn't this cute? Okay, so now we will dress this up, and I want to actually um, lift this up a little bit. I'm looking for my dimensionals. Okay, so I have my dimensionals. So let's go ahead and load this baby up. Look at this, a whole strip of them. So I'm going to put that here. I'm gonna load this up. I hope that it sticks. I know that it's wood, and so Maybe it won't be as long-term as I'm hoping, but hopefully it will. If not, I guess I'll have to come back and adhere it later. 
but I was hoping that the dimensionals would work because I wanted it um, lifted off of the, um, the board. Okay, we'll put this on there. Okay, now I'm having second thoughts. If it went down here, no, I kind of think that I, I want it overlapped. Okay. I think it's gonna stick because I have it onto paper down here. So I think it's gonna work. Look, it's coming together. Okay, now, again, from our paper, I cut out several of these hearts, okay? So I cut those out in advance and I thought that we would pull them in and just kind of decorate, decorate around. Oh, see, look, hug me. Maybe that's weird to have hugs and hug me. So I'll put that one up here. See, BFF, my BFF is my green glue. Oh my goodness, how funny. <laughs> it's on a green heart. And then text me. Our hearts from when I was little did not say text me. Let's see, I kind of like this up here. Let me see, yes, I did cut out a few more. Let's see, lots of hug me's and text me. Let's see, well, I can't have that by itself down there. I don't want too many text me's though. Maybe I'll layer it like that. What do you think? I think that's cute. Okay, so I am going to actually use some dimensionals on this. And I will glue this one on so that it covers up the text me. And it'll be kind of like layered at an angle. So let's get another dimensional. I'm putting it on the side there on purpose because it's hanging off. Okay, let's get our hug me up here. And our BFF. And then let's puff up this last you are cute. Look at this. Okay, this is totally covered in hearts. <laughs> okay, now, of course, we had to pull in the Wink of Stella. Now, if you do not believe that the Wink of Stella needs to be in everyone's life, you need to reevaluate. Now, I don't know if you know what the Wink of Stella is, but it's basically like a glitter pen. Now, can you see the glitz on these hearts that I just did? Now, why wouldn't you want that on everything in your life? <laughs> I love the Wink of Stella. I include the Wink of Stella with lots of my classes. And um, so I've gotten all my ladies hooked on them too. Okay, look at that. It totally adds now that those are all sparkly. Can you see that? Is it catching in the light? Oh yes, fantastic. So you could even like color the word hugs with the Wink of Stella and make that sparkly. You could even color some of these and make these sparkly. You can go crazy. Okay. Now, of course, we have to have something up here to finish it off. So I think we'll go ahead with a little um, messy bow. I was gonna put something through there, but I think a bow right across the middle is what's gonna make the most sense. So let's just make a cute messy bow really quick. And I need to see how long we want it. We don't want it too long. So let's do it about that length. So remember to make a messy bow, you just need two of each style of ribbon. So I have the usual culprits here for our red and white theme that we've been doing. This is from the Pampered Pets Suite. This one is our gorgeous white organdy, which has carried over from the holiday catalog. And then our fabulous new frayed white ribbon, which I absolutely love. 
Actually, I want that to be straight. And this one is so fat that we're gonna do what I've been doing is cutting it in half, just because otherwise I think it's too overpowering for this tiny little cutting board. Okay. Slide this out of the way here. Okay, so what you do is you lay it all in an X pattern. Uh, let's do our frayed next. And I think I'll do the glitter next. Whoops, kind of puffs up there. And then we will do this one on top. Totally doesn't matter the order that you put it in, of course. And then I forgot that I need one little piece at the end here to tie it all together. So what you do is you pick up your pile and you flip it over and you tie a knot. Okay, and it just pulls it all together. Whoops. Pulls it all together in a cute little bow. Look how cute that is. Like a frivolous, fun, cutie patootie little bow. And you can mess with it, pull it around. Let's see. I think that's gonna work. Okay, so now let's just put a little blob of hot glue on here. And glue that baby on. Whoops, I put a little bit of too big of a blob. Let's wipe some of that off. I think this is so fun and playful and colorful. Okay, and then the last thing I thought we'd try is, I know that we've used these before. These were from the Dollar Tree, and these colors don't match exactly. So let's see if any of this will work. It might not work, but that's fine. It's just fun to pull it in and just see. Like if we put one of these up here, piece of glitter on there. What do you think of that? I think that this is all wrong of the color of pink. And I think that the natural color, well, no, I kind of like the red one. Do you like that? I think it's cute. So we're gonna go for it. Okay, Sue, so I don't know if you're saying that this is cute, but I hope you are. <laughs> I'll put it at a tilt. Yay. And remember how we worked with fraying the ends of this, um, I don't know, a week or two ago? You can play with fraying it. Oh, look, this is going up and down since I, uh, since I cut it in half. I think that's fun. Some people, things like this totally bug them, but I think it's fun to have like the, you know, the, like the messy edges and stuff. To me, it adds character. So we'll just keep doing it. Okay, one more. We'll rip this one up a little bit. Oh my goodness, I think this is so fun. So there it is with our glitz and sparkle, with our embossing on the wood, on the painted wood. This isn't, um, remember this isn't actual like wood. I just painted it to look like wood. And then we embossed on it. Remember it's just like MDF. Totally fun. So this will be a really cute shelf sitter that we can put out for the season. We have a couple weeks left um, that we can put things out for Valentine's Day. And let me bring you up. Hey, Julie, thank you. I'm so glad that you like it. Okay, let me flip my camera around here. And you can see what that looks like this way. And I will hold it up really close. 
totally fun. Yay. Okay, so that is a finished project. I will post um, the link to the products that you can buy to make this from my website. Um, and yeah, I will get that up. And um, so I wanted to show you before I get off here, my class that I have coming up. It's a really short window to register for it. Um, so it's this week is the registration. So we're doing a little home decor piece, okay? And this is with the new rainbow set. Uh, we're doing some cute cards. I'm just gonna show them really quick. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Okay, those are your quick, quick sneak peeks. So it's gonna be a fun class um, with some of the free celebration paper. And you'll get some ribbon and some um, gems, the new iridescent gems, um, which actually I was thinking I should have pulled out and put some gems on here. That would be really cute too. Anyway, I will put the link for my class. It is totally able to be mailed. Um, you would have to have the stamps um, in order to do it. Or if you're local, um, you can come to my house and do it, do the class or do the stamping. I know that there are some people that are feeling uncomfortable um, getting together in person. That's why I pushed the class out till mid-February, hoping that um, uh, that it feels a little safer for people. Um, I know that there are some people real nervous about that. So totally whatever works for you. Um, I just want you to get crafting, get out, get some time with some friends. It's really important for us to have fellowship together. So anyway, thanks for being here today. I hope that you have a wonderful evening. And I will see you soon. Don't forget that you were made to create. Bye-bye.